Well, it's a big night tonight. Can we get through to the semi-finals of the Champions League? How's it going? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2024 and another part of non-league to Champions League with South Shields. Today we are back with two matches, one in the Champions League quarterfinal against Inter Milan before we take on Leicester in the Premier League in what could be a crucial match. Since you were last with me, um, we played against Derby County and beat them 5-1. Very good result at Lansbury. Um, Larray with two, Wanieri and Patterson all scoring there, meaning that we are still in first position in the Premier League. Three points clear of Chelsea. We do have a game in hand on them as well. Man United uh, looking like uh, one of the teams that could absolutely uh, compete with us for that, it's uh, it's going to be interesting in this final running. There's uh, a big old battle for fourth place between Tottenham, Aston Villa, uh, West Ham, Man City and Newcastle. Uh, that's going to be intense coming towards the end of the season. And still Derby County, Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest fighting for uh, survival in 17th place. Let's have a little look at the team for today then. We are, of course... 2-1 down to Inter Milan and uh, we have a, a bit of a problem in terms of uh, we have players that aren't fit and uh, we don't even have a central defender in there. I might even go Tonali. I think Tonali's probably better defensively than a Miles Lewis Skelly. So we're going to go with uh, Tonali in defence there. Um, but Thompson's not very fit either. It's... it's all a bit of a disaster. Uh, obviously, Larray got sent off um, in the last match, and yeah, that completely turned it on its head. We're two one down. We'll have to go at the San Siro and win. Uh, Alan Murphy starts in goal though, with Wellerman, Tonali, Thompson, and Robinson starting in defence. We've then got Donadell and Lewis Skelly holding the midfield, with Bargy, Patterson, and Wanieri starting behind Salas Lansbury up top. So here we go. Big, big uh, match. We need to get off to a good start here. We need to keep 11 players on the pitch as well. Um, <clears throat> it's not our strongest team. We know that. But we, we have got 11 players out there that could and hopefully should turn this match around. So here we go then. It is the quarterfinal, second leg, Champions League night. We've got Kareem Kanade. Uh, up top, so no doubt he's going to do it for Inter Milan at our expense. But we're going to go out there, we're going to give it our absolute best shot. And that's all we can do. Let's try and get ourselves back into contention here in uh, the Champions League. Get ourselves through the semi-final and you never know. We might have a chance of winning it if we can do that. So let's head out there in what uh, is probably the biggest match of the rest of our season at the San Siro. 73,000 uh, fans in the stadium and ooh, that was very nearly 1-0 there. Cho was right in there, but Murphy has got it. What's he going to do with it? He throws it to uh, Soren Thompson, who finds Lewis Skelly now. Lewis Skelly finds Wanieri. Here's Donadell. Nope. End of highlight there. Robinson loses it. Here's Livramento, who's uh, definitely caused problems in the first two matches we've played against them in the League phase and then the first leg. Here's uh, Wellens now. Wellens with a great chance. Great save from Alan Murphy. Needed to be as well. We're going to encourage the boys. Try and get them going a little bit here. Here's Jacinio with the corner. He whips it in. Oh, and well, it was a missed header, but uh, Salas Lansbury gets it away. Here's Donadell now. Donadell on the ball. Back towards Donovan Robinson. End of highlight. 
Okay, here's uh, Robinson with the throw. Gets it to Patterson. Back to Robinson it goes. Robinson gets it into Danny Patterson. It's 1 0. What a goal that is for Danny Patterson. And he makes it 1 0. Levels us up after six minutes. That's a huge moment for the captain. And Donovan Robinson is the man that'll get the assist there. And it was a, a nice little pass, actually, into Danny uh, Patterson, who just turned shot and found an incredible gap through four players past the goalkeeper. And it's 1-0. Come on. Now then, if we're going to play well here, you know, it, it, could, it could turn out very nicely. Yeah, Barcelona beat uh, Real Madrid in the first leg, so... Be intriguing to see who comes out of that and who gets through. Oh dear, here's uh, Inter Milan with a corner. Jacinio is going to be the man to whip it in. He whips it in. There's a header and it's 1 1 on the night. Back to 3 2 to Inter on aggregate. And that's a problem. Yeah, you know, we're going to really struggle to, to win this match and win it by a couple of goals to get ourselves through here. But coming up to half-time, here's Danny Patterson with the, the free kick into the middle. Sealess Lansbury was there, but couldn't get his head on it. He wins it back, though. Come on, let's keep this going. Here's Tonali. Tonali now, he's bombing forward on this right-hand side. What's he going to do with it? Gets it back to Donadell. Here's Vellerman now. Vellerman in towards Rooney Bargy. Rooney Bargy with a great chance and he scores. Rooney Bargy makes it 2-1 just before half time. That's a huge goal for us. And Vellerman, well, he provided the assist. It was very, very nice. He was so close to being offside there. Got it into Rooney and then Rooney just ran with it. Excellent finish from Rooney Barge. He makes it 2-1. Three all on aggregate just before half time. Okay. Right. Doing well. Let's keep working hard. Um, Wanieri is going to come off. We're going to put Shobosly on for him. Hopefully some set-piece prowess there. Uh, and we're going to put Ekadi Mora up top for Sa uh, Salas Lansbury. And hopefully that will work out very well for us. Two changes at half-time. Try and get players that can play even better. Here's Vuelleman with the throw. He gets it now to Patterson. Here's Vuelleman. Here's Lewis Skelly who uh, tried to cut inside there. Here's Rooney. Rooney Bargy. Rooney Bargy. Oh, that was a chance. That was a real chance. Oh, oh here he is again. Rooney Bargy into the middle. Oh, and it's a good catch actually from Simon. But you, you would say if it goes to extra time, Inter Milan go favourites again because we're just really on the, the bones of our backside in terms of how many players we've got. Here's Donadell. Gets it to Robinson now on the left-hand side. Good run from Donovan Robinson. Still going is Donny Robinson. Gets it to Shobosly. Shobosly finds Donadell who curls one. And the faintest of touches from the goalkeeper sends it past the post. 35 minutes to go and we're still pushing here. Rooney into the middle. Header up and that's away. Right, 60 minutes gone. Here's Shobosly. Shobosly gets it to Donadell. Hits the post. Wow, Livramento clears. Here's Cho. End of highlight now. Um, who could we bring on that could turn this game into a victory. We're going to encourage the team. Try and get them going. Here's Donny Robinson again. It's headed away. And now here they come on the counter-attack. Here's Kia Yard. Tonali heads it. Thompson's going to get there first, is he? No. It's Livramento now. Livramento still going. Oh, no. Karim Kanate. Well, we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? And Thompson is the one. That made the error, but we can't bring him off. Donadell's going to come off, though. Shobosly can go there. Who else can we bring on? 
Uh, maybe Ben Sagia is going to be the one. Let's see if he can be the one to, to change this around. Here's Donovan Robinson on the left-hand side. 2-2 two -two on the night. And this is why it was so important for us to win that first leg. It's going to be a free kick, though. Here's Shobosly. Could be a chance here. Shobosly whips it in. Tonali's there. And it is headed clear. And we've got 15 minutes to make a difference. Tonali finds Thompson. Thompson on the ball and on a yellow card. Gets it to Robinson now. Robinson whips it in. Mora's there. Header up. Mora's there. Yes. Ekadi Mora takes advantage. 4-3. Uh, sorry. 4-all on aggregate. 3-2 on the night. Now, now, now. Can we go and get a win? I feel like we need to. We're not going to survive extra time here. It's 2-0 to Real Madrid in the Barcelona match. So it's 3 all on aggregate in that one. It could be going down to the wire. Are we going to get a final chance here to send ourselves through? We've got four minutes of added time. No, no. Oh, excellent save from Alan Murphy there. I thought that was going to be... And Inter Milan, late winner. It still could be. João Veloso has got the corner kick here. It's whipped into the middle. It is a header. Oh, my God. Just wide. That was so close. That was ridiculous. Right. It's going to be extra time then. What do we do? What do we do? All right, let's keep going. Let's keep pushing. Keep trying. We'll think about Penno Jeff Takers very, very soon. But we've got half an hour of extra time to try and get that goal. We have been the better team. But who can come on and make a difference now? Oh, no. Kier Yard. Oh, excellent save from Alan Murphy again. Saving us. I mean, he's had a, a decent game now. It's going to be another corner. Whipped in. Header over the bar. We'll settle for that. Right. Okay. Half time and extra time. We'll start the second half. We'll get to about one thirteen, and then we'll start thinking about penalty takers and fresh legs to, to try and win this game in the end Rooney Bargy looking very very tired right who are our good penalty takers Nye is on the bench at the minute uh, unfortunately Salas Lansbury's on the bench who's on that doesn't like penalties Vuelleman how's yeah, Chamadi who's not great Rooney Barge is okay. Yeah, do we bring on some... Well, no, Wanieri's come off, hasn't he? Who have we actually got? Nye is the only one that would suggest could take penalties. What about Danny Patterson? How's he with penalties? He's not great, but he's very composed. Um. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to give it... Another five minutes and then we'll bring Nye on for Soren Thompson. Unless we can find a winner here. Here's Vuelleman. Vuelleman with the throw. Everybody is just so tired now. Vuelleman. This could be a big moment. Gets it in to Mora. It's back to Lewis Kelly. Oh, what a goal. Yes. <laughs> Miles Lewis Kelly has scored an incredible goal. Puts us 4-2 up. Right. We haven't done this for a while, but we're going to go absolutely plum defensive here. Um, Bargy's going to swap with him. He's going to swap with him. That means everybody can play in the positions we're asking them to do. We're going to go very, very defensive here. We're going to try and hang on to this. Vuelleman with the, the header. Puts it out for a throw in. Oh, no. There's a highlight straight from this. It's whipped into the middle. Oh, Alan Murphy's missed it. 
I could have just ended it there. Oh, it's going to be a chance, isn't it? Oh, is it going to be a penalty? No, nope, it is cleared. Ben Seguia now, running with it. Gets it forward, but can't find Ekadi Mora. Here's João Veloso. I think he's going to shoot himself. Oh, what a save from Alan Murphy. Needed to be. It needed to be. We're heading into the final couple of minutes here. What a performance this is. We've got 45 seconds of added time remaining. Oh, what a ball that is through to Kirkes. And it's bumbling around in the area, but Ben Seguir clears it. Right. I think we try and make a change here just to waste some time. So Rooney Bargy is going to come off. Uh, Nye is going to come on. Uh, we're going to bring on Junior Chamadeu for Vuelaman. Um, and Soren Thompson's going to come off for Nilsson. We're going to just try and waste as much time as we can by bringing those on. We're now into overtime. Very much into overtime. That's a ball over the top. Here's Mello. Oh, Murphy holds on to it. And I think that is going to be it, folks. Surely the full-time whistle is going to come now. Alan Murphy, just boot it. Yes, the full-time whistle has gone. We're through to the semi-final of the Champions League. That, oh my goodness, that is a huge, huge victory. But we get through 4-2 away at the San Siro. Real Madrid have come back against Barcelona. They've won that 4-3 on aggregate. That is huge. So we will be playing at Real Madrid in the semi-final. We've got 9 million for playing in the quarter-final. We've got the home match. Uh, that's going to be on the 30th of April. So that's uh, not in the too distant future. So we'll probably do Preston and uh, Real Madrid tomorrow. Um, or maybe we do Real Madrid, Arsenal, Real Madrid. Maybe we do that. Um, that looks like a, a tasty episode. Uh, but boy, oh boy, heart rate was going there. Lewis Skelly scores the winner, uh, gets man of the match. I mean, what a player he is. Obviously had his broken leg a couple of years ago. He's come back into the side this year, done a really good job. He's been here six years now. Um, he's becoming a real icon um, of this football club. But uh, that's half the battle. We've now got to go and play Leicester and see how we get on in that one. OK, a few changes for the match against uh, Leicester City then. Uh, we've brought in Shobosly in a defensive midfield. Ben Seguia returns in attacking midfield with Loray on the right-hand side. Everything else stays the same. Uh, so let's get into it, obviously, it's going to be a big come down from the Champions League uh, match. But if we can go out there and beat Leicester, um, then we've got some home games coming up in the league. And all of a sudden you feel, OK, maybe we can go out there with our chest out, shoulders up and go and win the, the Premier League again. And uh, yes, yeah, there's a good chance early on. Ben Seguir, almost. Produce some brilliance there. He has Bayer. Gets it forward to Bishop. Bishop still going here. Whips it in. Oh, it's a good save from Murphy. Um, yeah. Wow. Let's have a little look at this. So Chelsea are playing Sunderland. Uh, will they be able to win that match and get themselves back on track in this title race? Because they've, they've really dropped off recently and that's why... Uh, we are now in a very, very strong position for the title. And, you know, we had a rough patch ourselves a few matches ago and maybe we could have been out of sight at this point. But Chelsea could still come back into it. Remember, we've got Manchester United on the last day of the season, so we can't take anything for, for granted here. Uh, here's Walters on the right-hand side. Long highlights, very much usually ending goals. Here's Joao Marquez, still going, and there it is, 1-0. And it's Soren Thompson with the own goal. You could see that coming an absolute mile off. Just a long highlight, very, very sloppy, and um, not good enough from us, it has to be said. So Leicester take the lead, 1-0. Tottenham 4-0 uh, against West Ham. So they are now... Very, very close to the top four. They have really come back into the into the fray because they were a team 
a few years ago that could have went down, but uh, didn't. Here's Wellerman on the right, whips it in. It's uh, cleared. Joao Marquez now pushing forward for Leicester, and you can tell they've just got so much more in their legs, more in the tank here. Oh, should have been 2 0. It's whether we can get away with it, though. You know, will our quality <clears throat> shine through in the end? Here's Robinson with the throw. Gets it to Ben Seguier. Back to Robinson. Here's Lou Skelly Shobosly. Finds Ethan Wanieri to Vuelleman. Here's Larray. This should be one all. Oh, Ben Seguier doesn't score there. Yeah, going to have to make some changes at half time, it would uh, appear. Anyway. Here's Neto. Gets it into Donnelly. Now Alp. Oh, it should have been 2 0. What a save that is from Murphy. He's been awesome in today's episode. Kept us in the match against Inter Milan. Is keeping us in the match here, even though we're 1-0 down. Yeah, Tonali just very much not a defender, but what can you do? You can't really. Put anyone else in there. I suppose we could have maybe looked for an under-21 player. To, to go in there, would they have been better suited? I'm, I'm not sure. Chelsea have taken the lead against Sunderland. So at the moment, level on points. We have got a game in hand. So it's not the be-all and end-all that we win this match, but it will go a long, long way to us winning the title if we can, or even draw it. Here's Thompson. Oh, Thompson's having an awful game. He's he's struggling. He's just trying to hold the defence together. Um, that was nearly another own goal for Soren Thompson. He's on a 6.2, but we have zero other central defenders in the squad. Right, Nilsson's going to come on. He's going to come on for Robinson. Uh, Wanieri's going to come off for Bargy. Uh, yeah, Mora, Patterson, all of them are going to come on. And hopefully, it'll make a big difference. Four changes at half-time. We don't often do that, but I think we needed to. We were really, really struggling there. Now, hopefully we can settle into this second half if we grab a goal. You know, I'll put us favourites to win, but it's getting that ball into the back of the net. Chelsea now 3-0 to the good against Sunderland. Brentford are beating Brighton. Uh, Man City are playing later on. Man United are the ones to, to consider in all of this because they've got two games in hand, so... You know, they're going to be right on the bubble, aren't they, of, of this uh, Premier League season. Yeah, Donadell is going to come off and we're going to put on... Um, put him on next to Lewis Skelly. Here's Rooney Bargy with the corner kick. Mora with the header. That is brilliant. Ekadi Mora, 16th goal of the season. And almost out of nowhere from a set piece, <laughs> no less, we grab ourselves a goal. Very, very rare goal from a corner. And Eka Di Mora at the near post pops it into the back of the net. And it's one all and that it could be a valuable point come the end of the season. Six minutes of added time. Can we go and grab a winner? We've not been at our best today. So we will absolutely take the point and we will run all the way back to Shields with that. I am very, very happy with that, especially after you know going 120 minutes with Inter Milan in the Champions League. That was an intense match. To come through that, I think we've got to be proud of ourselves. That was a, a really top performance. So uh, when are we going to come back? We are... Probably going to come back against uh, Real... Well, we will come back against Real Madrid. We'll play both legs in tomorrow's episode. And we've also got Arsenal. We are within two or three matches of completing the series. If we can beat Real Madrid, who else is in the semi-final? Dortmund and Bayern. I'd fancy our chances against uh, Dortmund or Bayern. Uh, so... We get ourselves into the final. We have a one, 
match shootout to try and finish the project of the series non-league to Champions League it's going to be exciting and I hope you join me tomorrow for that if you have enjoyed it give it a massive thumbs up down below subscribe for daily football manager videos and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye